making pepper sauce. I have a few ghost peppers, yellow dragon, scott bonnet, scorpion pepper, a ring of fire, these are ring of fire, these ones are bird peppers, bird pepper, cherry peppers or weary weary pepper, um, a cross breed um, pepper that's crossed between habanero, scott bonnet and ghost pepper. Oh gosh, I can't wait to taste this. And that's it. These are crossbred peppers also. It's crossed with ghost pepper and scorpion and scott bonnet, these ones. Uh, what else I'll be using? I'll be using garlic and I'll be using pickling vinegar. So I'm going to put all this in the blender, blend it up and leave it overnight and next day I will have pepper sauce to use for eating and flavoring food or whatever I choose to do with it. And everyone know I love hot sauce so this is me making my own concoction. All right, I'm gonna wash these peppers and then I'm gonna put them in the blender, blend them up. Next step, I have a special blender that I use to make um, anything that's spicy or peppery. I would only blend it in this blender. Uh, this blender is sold at Walmart, dirt cheap. It's 20 bucks for this Sunbeam blender and it's a 12 speed blender. So you can get this at Walmart for twenty dollars twenty two fifty or something like that to be the, to be exact so yes I only blend pepper in this blender or anything that's spicy I would use it in this blender. I don't mix it with my fruits or anything like that because the world hottest pepper if I blend that in here I'm afraid that it may get on the rubber and then it could add into the other so if you blend in fruits or anything like that you don't want to do that I'm going to use a quarter cup of um, pickling vinegar. I'm gonna do that now. Add it into the blender. I'm going to take my peppers and my, just put them in just Hole. I didn't cut them up because I don't want them burning my eyes or anything like that so put them in just whole and I'm about to why isn't it closing what happened okay I want you to seal tightly Okay, so I'm going to blend this up. I should turn this around and show you. The first speed is puree, so I'm just going to puree. <coughs> the smell will make you choke. <coughs> Warning. So what I'm gonna do is <clears throat> blend this off camera. I've added two more cups of the quarter cup of vinegar. I'm gonna blend this off camera because I need to make sure that I'm not over it. I need to step away from it when I open it so that the fumes don't make me cough or anything like that. And it's very strong, warning. Okay, so I just finished puree, chop, mix, liquefy, shake, and smoothie. Then I pulse it for a bit. And I'm about to open it, but I need to step back to make sure that this smell... <clears throat> I can already smell it, and I haven't even opened it yet. <clears throat> um, <sighs> okay. I'm stepping away. I don't know if 
you can see it. It's nice and thick in there. <clears throat> Whoa! Woo! Woo! That is hot. That is really, really hot. Now I'm gonna get my mason jar and store this in my mason jar and I'll have to put a warning label on this pepper because this is really, really hot. Okay, now I have my mason jar. And if you're going to make this, you can use regular vegetable oil to add in. What I have here is an oil that I make. I take vegetable oil and I take the different seeds like chili seeds, garlic, um, uh, cumin seeds and I mix this up with a bit of pepper, hot pepper sauce that I have and I have this oil that I use to flavor my food with. So what I'm going to do is pour some of this oil in the mason jar. So a quarter in the mason jar. To make it even more spicy. It can never be spicy enough. Whew. Get ready to open this. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh my gosh. Whew. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That is insane. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Every drop is in there. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Oh, I need to step away. Can't wait to eat this. Maybe I'll cook something today with some of this. Oh my goodness. Oh no, why are you leaking? Oh, I made a mess. I should have used a funnel. Note to self, use a funnel. <clears throat> some of my good juice oh my that's it I need to wash my hands oh my goodness I'm going to close this and there I have hot pepper sauce ready to consume, but I'll give it a day before I start using it. So I'm gonna let it sit really tight in here in a dark cupboard and I'll start using it tomorrow. Ooh, the smell, my goodness. In case you're wondering why I didn't add salt into this, um, I try not to put salt in my peppers because I add salt in my food when I'm cooking. So this is my nice pepper sauce. No salt added in. So this is just raw pepper with my spicy pepper oil. And that's it. Garlic is in there. And um, pickling vinegar, that's it. Ooh, the smell warning if you're gonna make this at home open your windows um, my nose is running right now and step away when you're opening the jar because the fume can actually go up to your nose and make you cough a lot so don't want to be doing that you want to use minimum amount also when you're cooking <laughs> 